So, me and the man, we were in the big parlor room. We weren't even watching the RCA. We were listening to the Edison. Now, if you have a big manor house with a big grounds, it's a big estate. You know, it looks like a house, but it's really a mansion. Once you start taking the measurements, it's a mansion. Once you have servants' quarters and oxygen deprivation person quarters, if, come on, chambers of different you know, entities, you see my point. But anyways, inside this big, beautiful, glorious manor house is something that you would not ever perceive in your wildest dreams to have occurred where the man, he... His whole family, they purchased way back in the day. I think it was what they called a five and dime. No, it was a Woolworths. In my dog remembrance, it's foggy, but I do know now it was a Woolworths. It was a Woolworths. They bought an Edison radio. We were listening to the Edison. And the man, he was horking down the bourbon. And they asked him, they said on the thing, do you need some heartburn relief? On the Edison, it was like an old-fashioned commercial. They said, do you need some heartburn relief? And the man said, God bless, yes, I need some heartburn relief. He said, I can't take it. And it, it, the whole thing droned on, it went on, but it was languid. We were sipping and drinking bourbon. I was drinking some bourbon right along with the man. I was lapping it on my bourbon bowl. I have a special metal bourbon bowl. It's phenomenal. But anyways, the man, he was drinking, and he looked at me finally, and he said, do you know why I don't like Donald Trump? I said, you know, I know why you don't like Donald Trump, because he's a liar. And the man said, nah, no, that's not why. I said, ah, I know why, because he's misogynistic. And the man looked at me right in the eye and said, no, that's not it. I said, oh, I know why, because he hates Mexicans and all kind of Latinos. He's racist. And the man looked at me. I thought he was going to hiccup almost burping. He said, no, no, you're not even close. That's not why. I don't, it's not because he lies, it's, want to know really why? I said, yeah, I, I, I got this, this got to be it. He cheated on his taxes. The man said, nope. I said, because he's not really a billionaire. And the man said, you're getting close, you're finally getting close. Here's the thing, the man said to me. Here's the thing, I got to go through, I live paycheck to paycheck, I don't have enough money, I'm adding up all the crap in my grocery cart, I'm shopping at the Save-A-Lot. I'm trying to, you know, save every nickel and scrape and save whatever, you know, stretch everything to the limit, get the most out of everything you can, shop as wisely as I can, and when the money runs out, then I don't have no money, then I stop purchasing, I stop buying until the money comes in again, and I'm dead. I'm like a ship with no wind in its sails, with no food or water, I'm just adrift dying, baking, waiting. There's nothing going on in my life. I'm starving. I have no money. But Donald and his family, they just borrowed and spent it anyway. And that's what kills me about them people. They've lived on debt. Me, I had to stop living. I have a beautiful manor house, so I'm not trying to complain. I mean, I have paid my electric bill. I can always pay the bare essentials. I get to watch TV. I have refrigeration. I have a cell phone most of the times. I have an automobile. I have a beautiful. I can pay my taxes. I have nothing else, but I have no discretionary income except for my taxes. But I'm land rich, I'm land poor, I'm land rich, I'm house rich, I'm house poor. But I live in a manor house, and it's beautiful. It's like you live in a bubble. You think the NBA got to be in a bubble? I live in a bubble 24-7. It's a beautiful thing. It wards off the world. I'm in my own, you know, whatever. So I'm not trying to complain. I pay a lot in taxes. But anyways, at the end of the day, when my discretionary income, and I've spent everything I can spend, and there's nothing left, I go hungry. I starve. And Donald and his whole ilk and his whole tribe and the like of Donald, they just spent it on debt. And they didn't go without. And that's what, kinda, that's what I don't like about those people. And I looked at the man. I said, I understand what you're saying. You suffer. You wait. You know, you're patient. When the money comes back in, then you spend. Then you live. Until then, you kind of hibernate. You watch TV. I see you got a lot of carbs. You got a lot of pretzels, beer. You know, son never seems to go without the alcohol. His dad is a giant, giant. Uh, it's, they said it's like a wine cellar, but it's filled with wine. It's casks of beer, casks of bourbon, the finest bourbon. When he went and bought his maker's money, he bought like six barrels, you know. 
Woodford, you know, eight barrels. The last one, like his, his, his granddad, and his, most of his granddad, his great granddad, and his dad, they bought like that. They, so he never has to worry about bourbon. So as long as he can pay his taxes, he has TV, electric, AC, cell phone, ample bourbon. And you know you can you know whatever whatever NFL football. If the NFL football ever goes off of pay unpaid TV, there'll be a riot. That'll be the worst riot. That'll be the worst revolution. If the NFL decides you can't just watch it on the regular cable, the man just says the regular cable. I told him cut the cord. It's probably cheaper. He says I don't know. I'm afraid to cut the cord. I said Ah, you're an idiot. He says I know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. 